is the Brookfield viscometer. We use this to measure viscosity. So in the back of the instrument, we have the on-off switch on this side. The clutch is right here. And then over here, we have the knob that controls the speed. You can set it to 2, 4, 10, or 20. And then this, this knob actually right here is how we raise and lower the actual probe. So when you're ready to do your experiment, you're going to go ahead and lower it in here and make sure it's submersed all the way. We're going to depress the clutch that was in the back and turn it on. And you can see the dial is going to start spinning. This is the speed 2, or you can set it to 4, which is a little faster. 10 is even faster, or all the way up to 20. So when you're ready to take a measurement, you release the clutch in the back and watch the red needle that's on the dial. When it seems to stabilize at one point, like it is about now, I'm going to press down on the clutch in the back when I see the red needle, and then turn off the power. And you can take the reading. You can see it's about between 9 and 10, so maybe about 9.5 or 9.6 would be our reading. You would then use that in the chart in the back of your manual to calculate the viscosity.